question. One of the uh, uh, highlights of this meeting right now as we speak is, are the main trial uh, presentations reviewing uh, the, the, the primary results of endovascular trials uh, in, uh, in stroke. And this is, uh, has a long uh, history behind it in terms of prior attempts uh, to uh, achieve uh, successful results in clinical trials uh, that uh, unfortunately in the past were met with uh, uh, failures. Uh, and uh, although uh, subsequent analyses of these prior trials that were negative uh, actually looked at the imaging and then showed how some subsets of patients may benefit, here uh, I think you know, there'll be a lot of news coming out of this conference about uh, how the trials uh, now tell a different story uh, of uh, improved outcomes uh, in a randomized fashion. The critical piece is that all of these trials have used imaging. They used imaging selection to a certain degree. Uh, they actually used imaging in, in uh, different approaches, CT and MRI, uh, which is, uh, is not a shortcoming. It's actually an advantage because there's generalizability of uh, these different approaches and, uh, to uh, routine clinical practice. And I think that uh, it sends a very important message, which is that imaging goes a long way in terms of uh, uh, helping figure out who uh, needs therapy most uh, and how to triage patients. Uh, overall, overall uh, acute ischemic stroke uh, is, uh, 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 is primarily focused around a vascular occlusion, a blockage of an artery uh, where there's a lack of blood flow downstream uh, that uh, can cause ischemic injury in the brain. And, uh, and uh, this can be offset by collateral flow, collateral circulation, these blood vessels that, uh, that everyone has uh, to compensate. Uh, the variability from individual to individual is tremendous. So uh, one individual's capacity for collateral flow is very different than, uh, than the next. Uh, the imaging uh, uh, of these various techniques and various types uh, actually uh, uh, looks at uh, different correlates of collateral circulation. So whether it's a, uh, a mismatch pattern, this pattern where uh, there is a uh, uh, discordance or uh, not a perfect match between uh, the area that is most severely affected and these areas that are uh, penumbral, where there, uh, uh, the tissue is still alive but at risk, uh, uh, this can be measured uh, in a number of different uh, approaches. So uh, the imaging is vital in putting together uh, what we see clinically. So the diagnosis always starts with a clinical uh, diagnosis, uh, and the imaging helps us further refine uh, the selection. And the selection is uh, for one of various types of treatments, including endovascular therapy, where you need to see a, uh, a large artery occlusion at the base of the brain to be able to uh, 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 take on that approach.